Delcris, a continent where three rival kingdoms are fighting for dominance and gold. For many centuries, one has always had the upper hand, your veil. Vale. With its prospering cities, it has the economic strength to challenge the trade power of southern Sambria. And with its city's high walls, it can withstand the military might of Untermarch, neighboring to the east. But the golden age of your veil is nearing its end. And a sudden tragedy, the death of the wise and just King Owen, marks the beginning of a new era. The kingdom is left without an heir, and everyone is whispering about foul play. But no one dares to say it aloud. And so your veil vale has to choose a new king, while the schemers in the capital look at the empty throne and see only a ladder. Prince Arthur Rockbury, a well-known debauchee, has cornered the your veil's wine trade. And in his life of pleasure, he has only one objective to secure his privileged position by any means necessary. The dangerous Countess, Eliza Devon. As the King's mistress, she had an established position in the Royal Court, but now will align herself with anyone who will help her retain her status. The Army's commander, Judine Montre, is a disciplined leader with unparalleled focus. For years, she would use every occasion to try to rekindle the conflict with Untermarch. And now, she's been given the perfect excuse. The cunning Chancellor, Muvald Trovin, is the master of the Royal Treasury. He controls the movement of coin throughout the realm, and will use every opportunity to enrich himself. Because to him, gold is power. Meanwhile, in a village at the edge of the kingdom, where the trade routes cross. A young man prepares to take on the mantle of a local barkeep. Knowing nothing of his lineage, he cannot foresee the importance of his small tavern at the crossroads. When Owen the Great, the King of Yorval, was found dead in his chambers, the whole kingdom went into mourning. His death surprised all, for until then the king had enjoyed excellent health. It had been widely believed that his reign would be long and fruitful. The investigation was short, and the official statement declared heart disease to be the cause of death. But people knew. They remembered how the royal children had died in mysterious circumstances while still young. And so they started talking, albeit quietly, about a conspiracy to kill the king and his dynasty. Meanwhile, at the southeastern end of Yorvale, Far away from the big world of politics, in a small town, a young lad was preparing to take over his uncle's inn. Martin Brevet was getting old, and he still had a few things he wanted to teach his nephew.
This life turned out not to be so bad. Oh, was it a rat I saw? Yeah. It's already been five minutes since I had a drink. How awful.